Okay, so today I have made a one part mold with uh, a plaster positive, and I've made a one part mold that had a leather hard uh, positive, all of which, everything that I've cast today was a bowl. Um, here's the the bowl that I, the mold for the bowl that I made from a leather hard um, piece of clay. It's done, I've cleaned up all the edges. Um, if I have some loose clay and stuff, I'm not gonna worry about that. You're not supposed to saturate a mold in water by cl to clean it up right after you've poured it. So first I'm gonna let this cure. So I can let this just sit out in the open for 48 hours or even up to like, you know, four days to cure or you can go out into the kiln yard and put this in front of our extra strong industrial fan overnight and it will be ready for casting the very next day. So that's what I'm gonna do with this mold. Um, I wanna talk a little, I've just poured the second part of my two part bowl mold and so I wanna talk a little bit about cleaning up. I think you can probably see on the counter what a big huge mess I've made. I used a bunch of coddles I used the vinyl round flexible mold walls and I've got little chunks of plaster everywhere. I've got chunks of dried up clay that I used in the mold making process but now is too dry to do anything else with. So first of all, every coddle or anything tool that you use in, in this room needs to be put away um, clean. So I had put Vaseline on the inside of this coddle shape so that's why it looks so oily. So actually the cleanup on that was really easy. That's one of the reasons why I use the Vaseline. So then, but here I got some plaster and I didn't put Vaseline on there. So I need to take a tool from the um, plaster room and clean that up a little bit. Uh, so I'm using right now a chisel. We also have this thing called a Baca tool, Baco tool. And it's like a, just a nice flat piece of steel that's very sharp on its edges. It's really great for cleaning up coddles. So clean them up so there's really no sign of plaster on them. Put them away in the cabinet right down here. Um, and then say you used a sure form. I use a sure form, but I didn't get it very dirty. But don't forget that we have steel brushes for cleaning and you could just go take this sure form put it in the rinse bucket with the steel brush scrub it so there's no sign of further plaster on it like that and put those back on the wall over here where all of our our tools are organized very carefully so here's where the sure form goes this is where the steel brush goes basically everything has a home um, if you don't already have some sandpaper, you want to get some sandpaper this weekend because you're probably, you're going to be using that at some point to clean up your, your um, mold, to clean up your positive, or even clean up the, the pieces that you cast. All right, so of course I'm going to go clean up this entire mess with a tool, a scraper or something, wipe it down. If I have little chunks of dried plaster, I'll scrape those off. And then when I'm done cleaning, this countertop should be spotless for the next person. Um, and then, but so I will do the same for the floor, where I will make sure that I scrape off any spilled plaster and I then sweep and mop. So here's, this was my first mold that I started with, which is the plaster positive, the flexible vinyl uh, walls, which you can see have pla now have some plaster dripped on them, and I will want to clean all that up before I roll it up and put it away for the next user. So it's not ready just to be put away yet. So here's my um, my mold now. It's uh, you know I, it's got some funny things on the top. Again, I want to go and just quickly. Um, clean up that upper edge like that all the way around. I'll finish that up off video so you don't have to watch the whole tedious process. And then I need to separate my
my positive from my wear board. That can sometimes be a little hard. Um, I could hug it so it doesn't fall and hit really hard against the table. And just use a scraper to take it off. And now I've got it like this. So I have my ring for pouring that's a little bit bigger than the diameter of my plaster. And I still have to get the plaster out of there, which to me is a little daunting. This is still needs to set up a little bit more, so I won't be doing that just yet. I will wait till this has heated up and cooled before I go um, try to get my, my plaster positive out of, of this um, mold. But I can do a little bit of cleanup as, as I wait for it to cure. Um, again, the chisel is really fantastic. If you catch this before it's fully cured, it's actually a little bit faster, which is nice. Um, I can also, if I want, I could grab a Brillo pad or a piece of sandpaper and clean this up. But, so here's the brittle, Brillo pad, here's a piece of sandpaper. And all of those work great for getting rid of any sharp edges and, and ensuring that your mold's going to be really um, good and usable. But remember, I don't want to take this to the sink and, um, and rinse it off because you're not supposed to get a curing um, plaster mold wet until after it's done curing. So that's about all I'm going to do on this piece right now. I'll just put it aside, come back to it once it's fully cured. Um, and then, um, of course, I have my wear board to t or my working board here to take care of. So um, I'm going to scrape that all off with some tool and then sponge it off before I put it back on, on the shelves in the plaster room. Remember, we never take a board from the classroom into the plaster room. We have lots of boards in here for the use with mold making. And most of them are melamine, which is nice because the plaster doesn't really stick to melamine. So here's my two-part mold now. And I'm going to be taking that apart. Um, I really wish I could take, take the two parts, uh, the, top, the top and the bottom apart right now so that you could see that. But this still isn't really quite cooled. It's, it's heated up, but it's not totally cool. So it's not ready for me to take it apart yet. So I will be coming back to do that at a later date. However, or a later time, I can clean up my mold and make sure, like here you can see I had a little bit of a drip from the top pour that went over the bottom. I can get rid of that. And um, so eventually when this has cured just a little bit more, how I would go about um, taking it apart is finding a place where I can really see that the div division between the top and the bottom side, find a chisel that um, tapers to get pretty fat quickly like this one, and I can stick it in there and whack it with a, a mallet or a hammer. But not, I don't, I don't force it like it for one spot, like I would whack it there and whack it there until I start seeing a hairline crack form. And then I could just try to pull the two parts um, from each other. But as I said, this, that, this mold is not quite ready for that, so I will be wait, holding off for a few minutes um, before I try to do that. Um, let me see. So, the last thing I want to say today in this video is just that um, mold making is very messy and you need to give yourself at least half an hour to fully clean up after you are done with your pouring. Um, please do not leave a mess. It will offend everyone and it's really rude and difficult for the next person who's coming in wanting to make a mold. So I'm just cleaning up those edges. One other fun thing I can do, if I can find the tool, we have a lot of great tools here for 
most of the, these are mostly for um, um, making sure that your, plot, your clay meets up your positive really nicely. But one thing I can do is I can write my name on here. I can write Sihai or TJ and, you know, I could write Bowl 2020. And because uh, it's still soft enough that I can do that. But aside from that, that's about it. I need to stop this video and start my 30 minutes of cleanup because as you can see, I still have quite a bit of a mess. So we'll, we'll follow up next week. We'll get to cast these bowls. You can watch me cast the ones that I just made. And um, I'll come back and do a video talking about how I took, showing how I take this apart. Thank you.